Mrs. Rose. Hi, Lamb Chops. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm really good. I want to look for pretty things outside. I would like to do that too. You know, Lamb Chops, art is about looking, not just making. Oh, well, let's look. What do you want to look at? Well, let's see what's around us, okay? Do you hear some birds? Listen. I don't know if you can hear them, but I hear them. And I also see something over here. What is it? Let's see. Oh, it's bluebell. Hear that lamb chops because these are one of my favorite little flowers of the spring. It would be fun to draw those, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mrs. Rose, have you ever drawn a bluebell? Yes, a couple times. And painted. Oh, let's look some more. Okay, here we go. Look over here. Oh, what do you see? I see more purple flowers. Oh, my goodness, lots of them. Yes. The spring flowers are starting to pop out alongside my house. I love it. Let's walk a little ways and see what else we see. Lots of purple flowers. Oh, look here. What is this? It's a little blurry. I'm going to zoom in and show you. Here we go. What do you see? I see the sidewalk in my shadow. Yep. And lots of little patterns of stones. Do you see them? Yeah, I do. <gasps> that would make a great painting. Look how pretty the colors are of all those stones. I never noticed it before. You have to stop and look. And then you'll see all the beautiful things around you. But if you're not looking, and you're not stopping to take a look, you might miss something. Let's look over here along the side of my house. What are we looking for? More beautiful stuff. Yeah, that's what art is, isn't it? Looking for beautiful stuff. Yes, it is. Oh my, I see something. What is that? This is a rose bush. And look at the shadows that are falling along the lines of the house. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to zoom in and show you some thorns. Oh, those are pokey. Yep. Rose bushes have thorns, see? See how sharp they look? But also how beautiful they look with the shadows of the leaves. Let's zoom in on some of the rose bush. See if we can see what color it is. A little blurry and a little focused. Sometimes you have to zoom in and out to look at things. Yeah, but there's no roses. Not yet. It's still spring, but they'll come. And right now, even the leaves look pretty. When the roses come, they're going to be orange. Ooh, I like orange. One of my favorite colors. Me too. Except I think I like green better. I wonder what the kids out there like. What's your favorite color? Oh. Well, mine is orange. 
and Mrs. Rose's is green. Let's look some more, Mrs. Rose. Okay, lamb chops, here we go. We're gonna walk a little ways. See some green leaves. Those are for my lilies to come up, but they're not there yet. Lots of green leaves though. And over here, by my steps, is where some strawberries are gonna grow. See these plants here? Those are strawberry plants. Aren't they pretty? Three little leaves, little vines. There's a big rock. What's that doing there? I don't know. There's me. I'm pretty too. Yeah, you kind of are lamb chops. But I see mostly your big fat face. Hey, be nice. All right, sorry, lamb chaps. Let's look some more. Ooh, we got vines. See some pretty vines? Blowing in the wind, it's very windy. Yes, all of a sudden the wind is picking up. Ooh, look at them blow. Ooh, that's so exciting. Beautiful too. Now we're gonna go into my backyard. It's kind of dry back here right now, but way in the back, some beautiful spring flowers starting to come up. It's a little bit of a bumpy walk. Sure is. Okay, let's zoom in. Yeah, let's look. Oh, those kinds smell really good. Not sure what those are called. Maybe hydrangeas? And then over here, I thought I saw some daffodils. Let's look. Where are they hiding? A little further over. Where are those daffodils? There they are. Oh, there's one. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Let's get a little closer and we can see it up close. And yellow in the screen. Oh, there it is. There's the daffodil. That's also one of the first flowers of spring. I like it. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a really pretty focus. Yeah, that's good. Look at all the shadows falling on it in the sunshine. That's really beautiful. That would make a beautiful colored pencil drawing, Mrs. Rose. Yes, it would. There's another daffodil right here somewhere. Where did it go? There it is. <gasps> oh, my goodness, Mrs. Rose. That one's really pretty. Yeah, it is. It's bending down, looking down at all the other flowers nearby those purple ones. Let's zoom in on in a minute. Oh, wow. I like the shape of the edges. They're very ripply. Yes, you would have to draw ripply lines for that. Yes, you would. Well, there's lots of twigs in my way here, but there is the purple flowers up close. Oh my goodness. Those are really pretty. They look like little trumpets. Little purple trumpets. Yes, there sure is a lot of purple things out here, isn't there, lamb chops? A lot of purple. These ones smell really nice. They do? Yes. My favorite flower is the rose. Why is that, lamb chops? Because you're Mrs. Rose, and I like you. Well, thank you, Lamb Chops, and thank you for going on this little journey with me. 
Sure. I hope the kids will go and take a nature look around and look up close at flowers and things too. Me too. Let's go just a little bit more and then we'll go home. One of the things we forget to do when we're looking in nature is look at the, the patterns we see. And do you see this bark over here? It has a beautiful pattern. It's behind my fence. And another thing we forget to look for, besides patterns, is we forget to look up. And look up, and look up, and look up at the beautiful sky. There's the sun. Oh my word! Look at all the beauty of the blue and the black and the lines of the trees and the sunlight. Yes. Doesn't that give you hope, Land Chops? It gives me hope for a lot of things. That tree is amazing. It sure is. Don't forget, boys and girls, to look up this week and look on the ground and look at the sides of trees and find all the beautiful patterns in nature. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.